for the Indonesians in uh, the Malaysia, which, which is where I'm from originally. We're going to do our prayer now. And how we pray, for those of you who are new here, we don't necessarily segregate. We like to encourage families to pray together. If you uh, are not comfortable, then men on one side and women on the other side. Uh, you have a program here and that kind of gives you um, what, sort of a collection of what we want to do. So, do you want to talk about the sadaqa? The sadaqa that we're going to do this year and make a tradition of every year is um, going to be towards the Orangewood Children's Foundation. Their vision when they started was to provide shelter for Orange County children who were victims of abuse, neglect, or abandonment. Um, the prayer today will be done mostly in Arabic and English because that's the language that we speak here. Um, but we want to keep the tr tradition of the Arabi because it's the, mo the most purest form of the Quran. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. All thanks and praises are due to the cherisher and sustainer of the universe. Show us the straight path. The path of those on whom you have bestowed your grace. Allah, we come to you right now as a community and congregation of believers, associating ourselves with all who truly seek you. Before anything, we appreciate being able to live another day in a state of health. We seek your guidance, and we ask that you guide us to and in the straight path, which, as a Muslim of progressive believers, we believe the straight path is the path of strength, path of love, truth, and creativity. Good morning, peace be unto you all. It's great to see you, and this joyous and blessed day. I'll be speaking a bit about my personal story and attempt to humbly speak on the theme of patience, perseverance, and self-empowerment in Islam. The Quran says in Surah 2, Ayahs 155 to 157, Be sure we shall test you with something of fear and hunger, some loss in goods, lives, and the fruits of your toil. But give glad tidings to those who patiently persevere, those who say when afflicted with calamity, to Allah we belong and to him is our return. They are those on whom descend blessings from their Lord and mercy. They are the ones who receive guidance. So although our struggles are very personal things, we are never alone for there is great comfort in where we overlap. Which brings me to the topic of the immense healing capacity that a supportive community brings much like the community we have here. And its amazing ability in fostering a collective growth as much as it supports individual growth. God is closer to you in your jugular vein. In remaining steadfast in our belief and humbling ourselves through trials of this life, our faith grows so we become emboldened and empowered. When we then extend this personal empowerment through to our community, and continue to grow together, I believe this is where truly great things happen. Praise be to God, who all the worlds made, gracious and merciful, the compassionate King and Queen of the day of faith. Only thee do we adore and Guide us to the path which is straight. 
Path of the spine.